Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about VeChain. VeChain is still in a local downtrend here after we've had a significant rally between the 4th of July and the 14th of July. So like a 10 day rally or oh, 5th of July, I think it started. And now this decline has already taken a week or so. Um, no more than that, a couple of weeks actually. So it is too protracted to be a wave four. Previously, we thought about it, uh, the idea that this could be a wave four with one more high to come so that we would have a wave one sit here um, and that wave two would then start after we get a nice five wave move to the upside as a as an impulse or a diagonal. Anyway, five wave move up. But what would be a wave four has become way too extended. Um, it's not too deep to be valid. It's certainly still a valid fourth wave this decline but it just doesn't look right and therefore i assume i shouldn't say i assume i'm watching if the price can hold wave two support now this is not a clear structure yeah other charts provided a clearer five wave move up including <laughs> bitcoin but also for example just to name one jupiter that doesn't of course mean it has to hold but it gives us more clarity it's a better chart um in the short term yeah, I mean, also three wave rallies can lead to further rallies, like they can always turn into larger diagonal patterns, which is why I'm giving you support because the rally was too substantial to be part of that decline still, the immediate decline. But of course, the correction could continue or we're heading to new bear market lows. That's possible. But because we have an initial five wave rally into the February March highs, and then a corrective pullback into a support region and support is holding and we've seen a surge from there even though it's only a three wave move i give the bulls the benefit of the doubt all i do here is give you the support area which of course doesn't need to hold i mean at the moment the most reliable chart is bitcoin anyway um but yeah we you know this is a pullback I gave you the trend line, the trend line keeps the trend down. So until we break above the trend line, get a convincing break above the trend line, there isn't really any indication that we've bottomed here. The next support level is at 2.56 cents and then 2.38 cents. As long as we're holding that 2.38 cent level, a third wave rally could start from down there. Um, at the moment, we are in that support area. Yeah, we are in that support area. And all we are watching for is a possible first break above the trend line. That would be an early indication a low is in. Then a break above the last swing highs at 2.89 cents would help to yeah give us further confidence that maybe a low has formed. And the break above the wave one high at 3.34 cents would confirm it then further. And then we can watch for the third wave to get to sort of four cents plus. I mean, from here, if a third wave to the upside starts, well, it should take us above five cents, actually. Yeah, normally the 1.38 extension, 5.36 cents. All right, so that's where a third wave should get to. But for, for now, we have to, first of all, um, take a look at the support area and pay attention to the relevant FIP levels in the support area to yeah to understand if the market has a chance to, to form a low here or if it intends to at the moment the reactions haven't been convincing okay but yeah we can give the bulls the benefit of the doubt because also bitcoin formed a rally it's now retracing there's no guarantee that bitcoin support area holds and um, the altcoins are more risky you know for a reason you know they or they are more volatile that comes along normally with higher risk as well. They are very fragile. Most charts are unreliable. Um, that is just the harsh reality of the altcoin sector, you know. But we have clear parameters to watch. It would be better. It would be more clearly bullish if we had a five wave move up. We don't. So we have to we have to consider that uh, whatever that means for your portfolio, you have to decide, of course. But um, yeah, um, for now, let's pay attention specifically to the trend line and <clears throat> that two point. Um, 2.389 cent level because that's really the key support for any wave two pullback. We shouldn't break below it. If we do, likely new lows are coming and the test of the 1.8 cent level. That's the update about VeChain. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. 
for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.